name is Jade and I am a counselling psychologist in doctoral training at Private Therapy Clinic and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a famous psychological study called the Ash Conformity Experiment. So the Ash Conformity Experiment was conducted by a famous psychologist called Solomon Ash. He was a Polish American psychologist. So the study was based in 1951 and Ash wanted to come up with a fairly simple and basic study that would be able to see and test whether people would conform in a group environment. Other studies had tested this before, but Ash argued that often in these studies there was no right answer, so how could, how could you know whether the participants were generally wrong in their answer or they were they were wrong in their answer because of conformity because of social pressure so that led to ash creating this very well-known study which is used a lot in psychological experiments today so the study was a lab experiment if you're not familiar with what a lab experiment is it just means that it's, it's not always conducted in a lab environment itself but it just means that it's not conducted out in the natural world so it's where participants will come in and they will have to conduct a task perhaps out of their everyday tasks um, so for example this particular experiment was a vision test so participants 50 participants 50 male participants came in and they were provided with four lines in total and they had to the the test was for them to match one line to other three lines. I'll pop a diagram on screen um, to hopefully help with the explanation of this but it was very obvious out of the three other lines which line was the same as the first line. So the three lines, one of the lines was particularly smaller, one was particularly larger and one was exactly the same and their task was simply to say which line was the same as the first one that they were shown. Sounds simple, right? Well, when the participants were asked to look at the lines, the part of the experiment was that they actually had to give their answers after other participants in the experiment. And this is where the social conformity really comes in. So out of the participants, in each group there was one real participant. So one real participant who was unaware of what the experiment was. They believed the experiment was a vision test. They didn't think that it was experimenting and looking into social conformity. Otherwise that would give away what they were actually testing. So uh, the one participant was unaware and the other participants in the group were confederates. This just means that they were aware and they were basically acting um, during the experiment. So each participant in the room had to give their answers out loud in front of the group and the confederates went first and the participant went last. So they were going to hear all the other answers before they gave their own answer. So the answer was very obvious. It was always obvious which line was the same as the first line. But because the Confederates gave their answers first and they actually said that it was a different line, so they deliberately said that their answer was perhaps the one that was significantly smaller or significantly larger, this led the real participant to conform and give the incorrect answer as well, even though deep down it was obvious that that was wrong. But because they were in a group environment they conformed with the rest of the participants and it actually led to a lot of self-doubt in them. They, they doubted themselves. They doubted their own ability to estimate which is the correct answer, which is the, which is the correct line. So what was the findings of this experiment? Well, over the 12 trials, about 75% of participants conformed and gave the incorrect answer. And about 25% of the participants didn't conform. So that's quite a high average of 75% of participants at least conforming once in the experiment. So why did they conform? If they were so sure of their answer within their self, why did they say the wrong answer after the confederates 
said the wrong answer? Why did they have that self-doubt? Why did they not believe their own judgment? Well, the participants were actually interviewed after the experiment and they explained that they did not realise that they were readily conforming, but they gave the answer the same as the Confederates because they didn't want to be ridiculed, they didn't want to be made fun of, they didn't want to look peculiar by choosing a different answer to everybody else. A few of them actually explained afterwards that they thought that the group's answers were correct and that their answer was wrong. So this really shows the power that social influence and conformity does have in our psychological mind. So Ash was able to understand two main reasons why people conform and why social influence has such a big impact on us as humans. So one of the reasons is to fit in, to fit in as the norm with the crowd and this is called normative influence. The second reason is called informational influence and this means that they believe that the group or others know better than they do or they're more well informed than they are. So there is a couple of limitations to this study. One of them is that all participants were male. So this can really be, this can show some bias in the results and can limit the generalizability of results. So it could be quite difficult, for example, to generalize results to everybody because females might perform differently in this situation. We don't know because Ash didn't test that. Another bias reason was that all participants were of the same age group. So again, this can limit the generalizability. If the participants were of mixed ages, then there could have been some differences in the results. Another limitation of this study is that the experiment used an artificial task to test conformity. So like I said at the beginning, it was a lab experiment, which is great because you can get some really valid results from this. However, it's difficult to generalise to real world scenarios. So finally, there were some ethical issues with this study. So the participants were not protected from any psychological stress that they may have experienced during or after the study. So they may have experienced some psychological stress before giving their answer. They might have feared and had some self-doubt, feared that they might have been ridiculed or laughed at if they gave a different answer. This could have brought up some psychological stress for them and the participants actually weren't protected against this. So that could also impact the results as well. Ash found from this study that there were a few factors that did impact and affect conformity levels. One of this was group size. So he suggested that bigger the group, more likely that people would conform. If you were put in a smaller group situation, perhaps with three people, you would be less likely to conform to the majority. If you were put in a group of 10 people or 20 people or even more and they all gave a particular answer different to your own, you would be more likely to conform in that situation. Another factor that can affect conformity levels is the amount of confederates that are in the room. So if there is just one confederate, so just one person that perhaps is going to give a different answer to the group, the less likely the participant was to conform. It was also found that conformity can drop off with five or more confederates. So almost that a participant might get the hint of what, what is potentially going on if there are five or more. So um, an overall finding for this was also that the more like they were more likely to conform with about three confederates rather than five, six or even more. Another factor that increased conformity was difficulty of the task. So when the lines, the ABC lines, were a little bit more difficult to actually see which line matched the other line, and it was less obvious, this is when conformity really increased because people doubted themselves even more because the answer was not really obvious. And finally, when participants could give their answers in private, this is when conformity decreased. So when they didn't have to announce it to the group, when there was less group pressure and less social influence, this is when conformity was found to be really low. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you found it interesting. Please do make sure to check out our other videos on our private therapy clinic channel.